She's shy. She's loud sometimes. <laughs> she's strong. And she's been through a lot. I love her. What's up, Zanetti? It's a crazy, and I'm back with another story time. Okay, this is gonna be like a short story time because. I just want to give you a summary of what happened and the background so that you understand to where I'm going next. Um, I didn't want to make this like a long video, so I'm just going to break it down. Okay, um, so 2018, right? Now in the second year army, and let's just say I had to repeat that year. My first semester was horrible. I failed um, three modules of four. So I'm gonna pass the module okay. When's I run to you? I passed the module I had a, I'm a supplement side too. I failed A1 dismally. I came back for the supplements, right? And I failed those. Like from 48, I went down to 46. So I got away with this one module so I had to carry these four to the following year and me failing a major one of the three is with, with the major and I felt the major so it blocked one module for the second semester so in the second semester I had to come back and do three I came back second semester and the junkie happened I got stabbed and it went from me failing for the first time and wanting to do better to me feeling sorry for myself and me losing focus on what I I planned to, to do like I wanted to do better for me I wanted to do better for my family uh, so me feeling sorry me losing focus and all that led to me failing my second semester all the three so 2018 i passed one module of eight so i feel like younger seven and trust me it's it's not as deep as it was then because 2018 i lost a lot of weight i was i was a walking stick <laughs> And I couldn't eat, I couldn't, I couldn't eat like, can like I'm a chips, like one pack of chips, like a day and go to sleep and sometimes not, not go to school because of all the things I'm trying to like understand like 2018 i lost faith in in god i didn't believe he was there anymore like if he was then how was he letting such things happen to me like because when i got into an exam room like after studying like uh my fair share I'll just not remember shit. Like, I'll just not remember anything. And try and generalize. Like, in science class, you don't generalize. Like, there are terms you have to use. And it was like, that whole year, I didn't understand anything. Like, nothing was making sense. Quavele, me going to the exam room was me having memorized that so you know with memorizing like you forget one word you forget the beginning of the sentence like you won't remember anything so yeah that happened and me failing that year it did affect my finance my finances uh, because Ennis first cut me off and they cut me off and didn't tell me like apparently if you feel like 75% of your 
modules you get this is gonna cut you off so I didn't know I was cut off until March of 2019 so I'm just gonna stop here and do another video and carry on telling you how my 2019 went because my 2018 was fucked up like I, I, now, now that I'm now that I faced like worse things after that it doesn't even feel like it was a thing you know it doesn't it doesn't no it's not emotional anymore like it's it doesn't hurt me so that's why maybe i can't go into detail about it but i'm gonna leave you with the moral of this short story time don't don't let um the difficulties you face in your life bring you down with them like they did to challenge you like fight back fight back just don't don't just say don't just say okay it's fine it should be like this no it shouldn't be like that don't let them make you lose faith in yourself don't don't let them make you see no future it's gonna feel bad at the moment but everything it happens for a reason and with that mean i learned to see <laughs> a person failing something it is not because they they dumb i'm not dumb i know that i'm not dumb and maybe it took me to go through that to understand that sometimes it's it's the things they're going through and maybe they don't talk about um, so if your kids are all of a sudden failing their modules, they, they distant, they, they're not being themselves, but check up on them. Something is going on and maybe they don't understand themselves. So we'll see what that is. Just, just be there because I mean, it was that my family didn't make a big deal out of this that I was able to say okay I'm gonna go again the following year and and do my modules and because I failed so much and either they didn't know that um, NS Force wasn't gonna find me anymore she wasn't like willing to just say salapant you know because uh, that's what most parents will do if you fail then stay at home or something don't don't do that don't do that to your kids because maybe it, they needed to go through that uh, to open their eyes and for them to be better people because trust me after after that I, I've been better I've been doing better and I'm trying by all means to make my family not regret uh, giving me a second chance so yeah just just don't give up on people because they did something and you feel like they're failing give them a chance like a second chance a third chance a fourth chance and then if Bakomi Savonu would see that they're not willing to give it their all, then there's nothing you can do. Abaz Misele. So yeah, this is me and I'm signing out. See you on the next video. But today I'm dropping two videos. So thanks for watching and if you had like, had an experience at Kushifan and Ale, comment your story down below and let's help Lawando Abasazu Kowisha to through this. 
a good tea there there is a tomorrow and yeah it's not promised but a corner <laughs> that didn't make sense doesn't matter bye